Hi everyone, we are on our way to Fun Spot Orlando, the one on the iDrive. Um, we will be going to the other one in just a couple days, um, but we're going to do the iDrive one first and um, we'll show you in a sec. So Fun Spot Orlando did have um, security when you walked in. They did check your bags. Um, and then when right when you walk in, you are able to get your you know day pass, season pass, or tickets. Regardless of if you have a season pass, which we did get, or a day pass, you do always need to get a wristband. So like I said, even if you have your season pass, it's like in a card form, um, you always have to go through this entrance and get a wristband every single time that you go into the park. We actually just got a second house in Orlando, so of course we had to get season passes to the fun spots. We will eventually get the Bush Gardens and SeaWorld season passes, but we'll probably wait till next time we go down to the house. Um, but so for now, this is actually our technically our home park, our closest park to one of our houses. Um, so we're really excited. We wanted to review both of them, and after going to both of them back to back, we realized that they were really different. So we have the season pass, so it is free to get into Gator Land. Woo so Fun Spot Orlando has this area called Gator Spot where they have a lot of alligators and if you have a day pass or a season pass, you can go in and view all of, all of the alligators there. If you have a season pass, you're also allowed to go to their um, event space. It's called Gator Land, and they have all alligators there, I guess, with alligator shows. We'll probably eventually review that too, um, but just as a side note, I believe that's near Kissimmee as well. Um, so that's you know pretty close to the Kissimmee Park, but it's a whole separate park called Gator Land. Fun Spot Orlando is more like a, kind of a county fair vibe where they have a bunch of little rides. Um, they typically have a roller coaster or two, but they're really known for their amazing go-karts. And so if you are someone who really likes to ride go-karts, this would definitely be a destination spot for you. These are advanced tracks, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, but they are really, really fun. And that's, you know, truly what they are known for. So Joe took us here like year, a couple years ago and I'm the worst driver in the whole world. Everyone that knows me knows that. And he takes me straight to these go-karts here. And I think these little eight-year-olds were trying to kill me. And I got stuck on the course and everyone ran into me. Like, I think I saw PTSD from it. So these are like the most intense go-kart courses like of all time because a lot of kids have season passes here and they're 
parents will just drop them off. So they are like wild on these go-karts. So they're definitely not for beginners. <laughs> So the uh, season passes are um, $100 each and they're good till the end of the year. So obviously we got those. And then the drink cups with unlimited refills are only $8.99 a person. So we got two of those. Um, and then there's also beer cups. They're $8.99 with $2.99 refills the whole year. So we'll probably get some of those too. And the food's not bad either. Um, it's like maybe like $7.99, $8.99 per meal. So that's not so bad.
So Fun Spot Orlando has two roller coasters. One is Freedom Flyer. It's a steel roller coaster and the other is White Lightning. This is Freedom Flyer here. We didn't ride it this time, but we did last time um, a few years ago when we went to this park and it's definitely a really um, fun, fun roller coaster. Um, but White Lightning, which is their wooden roller coaster, is so awesome. It frequently hits the top 20 wooden roller coasters in the US and I absolutely love this uh, wooden roller coaster. It is definitely a must ride if you are in Orlando. So now we are on to Fun Spot Kissimmee. This was such a fun day that we had visiting this park. So we expected it to be pretty much identical to the Fun Spot in Orlando. And we were really surprised at how different the kind of atmospheres of each park are. Fun Spot Orlando is definitely more of a family park, maybe more of a tourist destination, where Fun Spot Kissimmee definitely seemed a lot geared towards the locals. It seems like regardless if you have a season pass or not, you have to wait in like the line to get um, your wristbands. Although Fun Spot Orlando definitely had pretty amazing go-karts compared to anywhere else I've ever been, Fun Spot Kissimmee had the tallest go-kart track in the world. I believe that last one I, we just showed you was like five stories. So it was really intense. So luckily this park is only like 10 minutes from the house that we bought in Orlando, but this section, it's called Old Town Kissimmee, it was so cool and so much fun. So Fun Spot's actually attached to this strip of restaurants and bars call and, and stores as well, sorry, retail stores called Old Town Kissimmee. And 
it was Sunday. We were there at around like three, four o'clock and it was super lively. There was drink specials and Sunday happy hours and people were, you know, having fun, eating, um, shopping, and you don't have to pay admission to be able to go into this area. And you can just walk in, you know, from this area right into Fun Spot and back and forth. And you could even, you know, drink here and then go into Fun Spot and ride a couple rides and then come back here. It was so, so, so much different. You can see there's bars everywhere. Um, we have a place in Pittsburgh called like the South Side where there's like a long strip of bars. I'm sure every single major city has it. And this kind of reminded me of that or like a mini, mini, mini version of like the Wildwood Boardwalk or something. Um, but it was really, really, really different um, how, you know, this one was versus the Orlando location. You guys are gonna laugh when you see how this roller coaster is on this wood. Like it looks like it's not even in the proper holes and then the wood looks like it's falling apart. And although this little roller coaster was fun, let me tell you, it was rough. I was just so happy to be in Florida and be at this park because it just seemed like everyone was back to normal and having a really fun time and there was live music. There's actually live music in the Old Town Kissimmee, like free concerts. It looks like a, every week day and weekend day besides Monday and Tuesday. So it looks like they constantly have, you know, outdoor bands playing. Plus, of course, you know, just it's lively in general with the outdoor bars and restaurants and shops and stuff. So it was just so cool that you could just walk from there, you know, back in a fun spot and ride some rides and walk back. Um, you know, it, it definitely was a, a lot different though like I said than Fun Spot Orlando um, it was definitely a lot of locals you could tell and, and more people who live there so I'm assuming a lot more people probably um, have a season pass that go to uh, Fun Spot Kissimmee um, than versus the Fun Spot Orlando although probably tons of um, season passes go there as well just it seemed like a little bit more would be here especially because this is a little bit farther out although it is pretty close to where Disney is so if you are in Disney or staying kind of near Disney um, this would be a really cool place to um, kind of take the kids to go and you could have a drink or something while you know they ride rides because it's super easy like you'd still be really really close to them you're in the same location um, but they could you know go on a couple extra rides and, and have some fun
So all in all, we so, so recommend getting Fun Spot season passes. If you're gonna be in Orlando for more than a couple days and you think you'll have a couple hours to visit each park, definitely, definitely recommend going, especially if you like go-karts. This will be a dream for you know your kids or you if you like go-karts. So definitely recommend that. Um, and I also wanna say thank you so much for everyone who is tuning in and watching our videos. We're really excited to be branching out to different parks that we haven't been before. Next stop is Six Flags Chicago.